So earlier today, actually, I was made aware of some Twitter discourse that I not not my favorite thing to talk about, so to speak. But let's just get into it. It starts off with a vague tweet, which I personally dislike. Because those can actually cause more harm than intended. Though this one, it's, it's, ugh. Let's get into it. Um, I suggest you don't eat right now. And also trigger warning if you don't like hearing about lolly content. So, Arundel put out a tweet. Okay, fuck off, I'm done. A VTuber talking about fucking primary school lollies and saying they would, <clears throat> they're cunny. Like, fuck off, even if it was a meme, come on. Then goes on to say they like the bald armpits and that they have no hair. What the fuck, I might vomit. Yeah, so this is a pretty wild accusation to just make with no context and they didn't post the context in this thread they posted some to this thread where they actually named names i don't usually do this at twitch support okay people wanted me to name and shame 200 viewers saying they want to do things that lollies do lolly cons do thanks to uh rena lux I don't know them. Up to everyone what they do, but I reported. I appreciate any help kicking this kind of BS out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! and VTuber community. Oh my god, good luck getting it out of the VTuber community. We try. So then, finally, we got a little context. For the people thinking this isn't legit, which is why you should post your clips sooner, please. This is a very mild one I took. She talked about corpses and babies, then went on to encourage doxing and harassing other streamers in defense of her. Like, take care. Thanks for staying by as long as you did. So yeah, I don't support doxing and harassing streamers is not very cool let's see what they have to say lollycons trying to prove they're not weirdos challenge challenge impossible true i don't want to see like hentai of that ah you're quiet like i want to see like hentai of that like neither like over the swing and you fuck her like while it moves like, wouldn't it make it, like, go faster? Because, like, the swing would also, like, go back and forth on your, like, What pop. the fuck? She looks like she was a train the form. Fucking Naida bikini. Oh, fuck, no. Swimsuit Naida. I was like, swimsuit Naida. No, it's not. Okay. No, not that Naida. Fucking swing into your cock. Naida rando seru. I remember seeing, like... There Man, was, like, chat oh is just... Oh, my God. Audio is a little low. Yeah, I'm trying to boost it. But can you make out, like, uh, what they're actually saying? Would fuck. Like, I remember seeing, like, this one, like, art. Like, it's Naida. Like, it's Naida, like, in a fucking mic. Yeah. Naida in, like, a micro kini and then wearing a randosero. Like, hot. Like, the combination of, like, a micro kini and, like, a randosero is, like, erotic. This is fuckable. I'm glad they're actually not showing what's there, just in case. Oh my god, Quintail Naira. You see that back? You see that cunny back? Wood fuck. Like, wood fuck. You see that cunny back? Wood fuck. Look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, they're talking about a Genshin Impact character. Would put my cock in it. Disgusting. Wait, this is AI. This is AI. I know this is AI. 
Fucking... I hope I said disgusting to AI. Fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking... This... Is hot. Wait, you can't hear it at all? It's it's basically just her uh, thirsting over lollies. <coughs> Not very likable. Yeah, I don't really trust anybody that uses that word either. This chat saying let her cook. That position with like the ass out. Fan arts like or fan artists about Genshin popping off. And those like thighs like slipping out of the dress, and then you could see like the armpits over here. God damn, shut the fuck up. Why is this stuff so fucking prominent? Like, I'm pretty sure there were other stuff. Oh, right. There was also a compilation. It's currently on YouTube, so... Fingers crossed, I don't get... How old are they? I don't know. I don't care. Again, Senko-san is easy fuck. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of joke you don't make if you're not... If you're only attracted to adults. Senko-san is like amazing anti. Like fucking Fox Girl? Like, Fox Girl has, like, amazing hentai. Fucking, okay, I would smash. I would smash. Like, Senko's eye is a cute anime. Eyes, squid slippers. Senko is legal. See, Senko is legal and is a lolly. Fluff and fuck. Fucking, okay, what is this? No, ow, not ow. Please explain the many neuron connection yet. Oh my god, that's Rick Salo. Is this your doing? Are you faking everything? And pretend to relate to your chat to make money? Why would you? How do you? Why are you? Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's Again, like a 10 minute Ellie, blah, blah. Oh, how? Okay, no, oh, how could I like lollies? It's so weird. Okay, it's so weird to like lollies. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, and can I have my cunny? Can I have, like, my cunny... My cunny copy-paste, like, in the chat on a guy Oh, of course there's a fucking copy-paste about it. Like... There are adults with petite bodies. There's nothing wrong with liking adults with petite bodies. When you look at this character, do you think adult? There are characters that are petite, but then still, you know, act like adults. My favorite example is Rebecca from Cyberpunk uh, Edge Runners. Because, yeah, she's a petite. But guess what? She doesn't act like a high-pitched voiced child. But that's what a lot of people go after for one reason or another. Definitely not the P word. Fucking, okay, we don't, we don't, we don't stay with heretics. We deny the heretics. You have we in your name. We don't stay with the heretics. This character is not an adult. She, like, she mostly acts a well-mannered child that does cleaning and stuff. That's, yeah, that's what they tend to go after. They just have the slightest bit of plausible deniability. Oh, they're over 18. Sometimes they're a thousand years old. And it's like, we know what you're really after. Fucking, fucking, we don't stay. Fucking, why am I getting mentioned? Like in fucking why are they in fucking why what the fuck I'm getting tagged on Twitch bro I got tagged on Twitch by fucking who tagged me on Twitch right now who tagged me on Twitch right now fucking oh my god I got cancelled by another fucking Yugi tuber I KBJ fucking guys I've done it I got cancelled I got cancelled by a fucking Yugi tuber that's not cancellation. Getting cancelled is to be ostracized from a community by members of that community. Or like, 
a prominent member of the community gets ostracized by members of that community. And sadly, calling out these fucking lolly VTubers, all that really does is help bolster their audiences. Honestly, the prominence of VTubers like this are why I would personally want to distance myself from VTubers, because fuck's sakes. Let's go. I let's ban let's banner just to make sure. Like as I say, okay, I'm not gonna say this. You know what? What if I just what if I copy paste the tweet right now? What if I copy paste the tweet like right now and like let me put it like on the thing. Like you don't think like you don't think I'm gonna say against it. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, and where are you? The audacity to fucking like tag me. Seriously, are you that mad? And like you're mentioning, let me read this entire thing. I don't usually do this Twitch support. Okay, people wanted me to name and shame 200 viewers, saying they wanted to fuck little girls thanks to Rena Luxper. Up everyone they do, but I reported. I appreciate help kicking this kind of BS in the Yu Gi Oh! and VTuber community. I fucking. I. You don't think I'm going to weaponize? You don't think. Guys, I'm not saying that you should do anything, but don't I mean a lot to you? Aren't I important to you? Like, for once in my life, I'm gonna say it. Aren't I important to you? Don't I mean a lot to you? Is this the inciting harassment towards the another streamer? Weird. It's almost like... It's almost like a lot of these people have very toxic traits. This is a time. You're gonna protect me, right? You're gonna protect me, right? You're gonna make sure... You're gonna make sure that I'm gonna stay safe, right? Fucking... We purge the heretic. Fucking... Hi, Azurite. Thank you for the follows. Thank you. Fucka. You'll always stay with me, right? I'm correct. Like, I... am not the problem. Okay? I am not the problem, okay? This What Lambat? I'm confused. <clears throat> but she is definitely playing into the oh I'm soft bean, you guys want to protect me, keep me around, right? Well this person's trying to harass me. So you know what that means, guys, right? Right? I'm not gonna directly say it, but you know what I mean, right? person can complain as much as they want they can complain as much as they want about me liking lollies but then again as i say if you have time to report another if a vtuber has time to report on another creator maybe you should spend time making your own content like what are you really that's what you're gonna okay just deflect <clears throat> yeah, she's weaponizing her fan base against people because, well, there's a massive overlap between um, Lollicon enjoyers and the far right, if you did not know. It's, it's honestly depressing how big the overlap is. And yeah, she's saying, oh, you got time to report me? Why don't you have time to make content? <clears throat> It's like, I can do both. I can criticize you and make content. Go me. Doing, watching a fucking VTuber stream about lollies on Twitch. Instead of like, st instead of like streaming yourself or like making your own content. Like, don't you have a life? Like, don't you have... That's usually why people aren't constantly always streaming or making content themselves. They have a life, and in that life, they don't like seeing the sexualization of child-coded characters. Huh. Weird, man. If only we could actually ostracize the people that do want those hardcore child-coded characters, if we could get them out of the VTuber community, I think it could grow so much bigger. We'd at least have a better reputation than fucking 
Oh my god. Because I've heard multiple times that all VTubers are pedophiles, and it's like, well, there's people like this that get rallied behind every time they're called out, so fuck, I can see why people don't like VTubers. Like a life. Like, bro. Like, I get it. Just admit it. You're jealous of me. Fucking. Fucking. No, I'm not saying any names, of course. I'm not jealous of any washboard character. I'm not saying any names, of course. I'm just saying that you could be making your own content instead of like, oh, you're tagging me. Oh, you're tagging me on like Twitch. That's so scary. Oh, like, oh, wow, you're so good at making content. Oh, oh, you're so scary, Miss. And don't, don't you report me to the police after I killed somebody? Don't you have a life? Don't you have things to get aside from this? <laughs> True. Oh yeah, she's got about a couple hundred viewers apparently. I'm sorry again, I keep forgetting how to pronounce her name. I'm terrible with that. But yeah, she's got I I'm I'm hearing she gets about 200 viewers, so when she starts playing up the Oh, these people are coming after your lolly waifu, then they just fucking... Uh, then they start um, galvanizing people, rallying them. Ah, yay! Miss Short, like, Miss Short, blue-haired VTuber, again. Let's sweep their app for more content. I oh, I'm not naming names. I'm just going to tell you exactly what she tweeted and what her profile picture looks like. But I'm not rallying my base behind anybody specifically. Fucking Rena. You're so scary. You're so terrifying. Whatever shall I do? Anyways, me saying shit aside, let's go back. We don't listen to our Reddix. I could care less. What another Yugi tuber thinks. Like, we're fucking. The thing that pisses me off the most is how she pronounces heretics. That's right now the most offensive thing to me. They're both terrible. Stop tweeting, Sarkra, if you would like to complain. I the third squish. When you start. When you start making the same viewership on like a Yu Gi Oh stream with my Lolly stream right now, then you can shit on me. <laughs> then. No, I don't think I'm going to wait. I'm going to just keep doing it now. You can shit on me. You can make fun of me. You can make fun of me when, like, you are you make, like, a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh stream with the same viewership that I'm having right now. Fucking, that's when you can do it. But until you can do it, then... I'm willing to bet that if somebody bigger than her started calling her out, she'd be like, why are you attacking me? I'm smaller than you. But if it's somebody smaller than her calling her out... You can't even criticize me until you made it to my level. It's like, what a fucking cowardly defense. Don't mind your own fucking business, bro. Fucking go until Twitch cancels us. Well, fucking, this is fucking kind of part of my business because, oh God, Joe, she's a Yu-Gi-Oh VTuber, like, she does Yu-Gi-Oh streams a lot, from what I'm told. <clears throat> I forget what I was about to say. The worst part is people like Rev will likely defend this person, and the person will get away with this. Yeah, like, Rev would more than likely make a video about this, and then she'd see an even bigger jump in um, size. Fucking sucks. It really is a quote, man, you don't have anything better to do. Why are you reporting my crimes type argument? Yeah, unironically, it is. It's okay, I have a YouTube channel. Fucking, it's okay, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm not even streaming on Master Duel. Why mention the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh community? The first reply. Look at it in... Why? What? What's the first reply? Wait. Would she beaving it now? Kani, oh my god! Fucking, oh my god, okay, fucking, let's scroll down. Not, not going to address that at all? Not going to bring up their username at all. 
see, I told you guys there was an overlap between <laughs> lollies or lollicons and the far right. Yep, it was that symbol, and that username was censored a little bit. It ended with, it didn't have the E, but it finished with an R. I've seen that actual tweet. Okay, hell no. Nah. I got approval, okay. That's quite strange, actually. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Their mods are here. Wait, what? Wait. The, the person that, like, cancelled me brought their mods into my fucking chat? What the fuck? Why would you do- Wait, are you that much of, like, a tryhard? You're bringing- Okay. As much as I- as much as I appreciate their effort in trying to combat these types of people, you're not going to do it by jumping into the lion's den in their chat. I mean, at best, oh man, you can't even get them on stream because they're all fucking cowards and they don't actually want to engage in the free marketplace of ideas because, well, they don't want to be outed as pedophiles. I said, control yourselves. I'm not going to say do anything. But what I'm saying is, my very dedicated Renachis, you know, for those who actually want to do something, I'm not saying you can't. I'm not saying you should do it either. But what I'm saying is that this counts as harassment. <laughs> what I'm saying is that this should count as harassment. <laughs> Bringing your mods in, really? <laughs> so, to counter harassment, you're going to rile up your audience and then not put limitations on what they should or shouldn't do? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hi, Aero. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Fucking okay, thanks for adding to my viewership, I guess. Fucking, okay, oh my god, there's two of them. There's... Yeah, unironically, all, all you're really doing is actually helping boost them, especially if they're on Twitch. You're just helping them get up higher in the views. If you're popping into their YouTube channel or their chats or whatever, you're boosting their watch hours. So gets criti criticized once you're harassing me. Well, I think her argument is that the harassment is that the Twitter thread was made like the call out thread was made and then the mods of that uh vtuber came into their chat and then they're like oh you're harassing me you're harassing me i'm just a weak w widow girl you gotta protect me right right that's how they do it three of them what the fuck there's three of them here what the shit fucking Guys, spam the- Oh, Kunny! Oh, Kunny! Man, like, you know Renachis are parasocial. Like, are you just asking to get harassed or some shit, bro? Like, if I'm not gonna say anything, people are gonna shit on you eventually. So I suggest that you don't do anything. Fucking, okay, welcome to the stream, Kunny enjoyers! Oh, Kunny! Oh, Kunny! Okay. Oh, Kunny, no! You know, these are the type of people that you will say... Or somebody will say that they don't like Lollicon content because they were abused as a child. And then these Lollicon enjoyers will be like, well, it's not real, so it shouldn't affect you. So I'm just going to post it over and over and over. Oh, God. Yeah, it, it hurts so much listening to that. It's just I'm surprised my ears aren't bleeding yet. Just keep saying, oh, cunny. Oh, Kunny! If you keep spamming. And it's like it's just repeating that for the next few minutes. Oh, Kunny. What are they gonna do? Fucking. Hi, mods! Fucking. There you go. Fucking. I don't know where you are. If you're still lurking there, mods, of that person on another account, like, really? You're trying this hard? For, like, what? Like, what did you do? Copy paste my Twitch? And then post it into your own Discord and be like, oh, don't follow Rena Luxper. She's making a stream about lollies right now. Oh, everyone mass reporter. Oh, like. Wait, dog whistles everywhere? Which dog whistles am I missing? 
Don't you think that counts as like harassment? <coughs> like, aren't you targeting me for no reason? Like, seriously, I'm not even- Well, the reason is because you like child-coded characters and you're proud of it and, well, people see that as bad, it turns out. I do somewhat agree, it's cartoon character, I don't really care enough about it. It... <sighs> There's a little more nuance than just reporting TOS breaking is harassment, got it? Wait, what's her TOS breaking? But, like, regarding um, Lollicon content, no, it's not actual harm being done. Oh, that's uh, the C word is, or that cunny is a dog whistle? Okay, yeah, that's, that was my ex, uh, that, was, that was my kind of thought, because it's like, it's pretty easy to guess what it is, but they are also trying to not say it directly on the note, <clears throat> directly on the nose. But like, back to my previous point regarding uh, Lollicon content, it's like, it's not actually harming any children, sure. It's just people genuinely being attracted to minor coded characters, and they're not acknowledging that that's what they are attracted to. They just want every little bit. I thought it meant cute and funny. No, it doesn't mean cute and funny when this person had said they wanted to put somebody on a swing and then ram their cunny. So, like, I don't have a definitive description or, um, not description. Sure, description of what the word actually means. I'm just using context clues to think, these guys, yikes. Even mentioning your name right now, bro. Like, at least, like, even though I'm petty, I'm just copy-pasting your tweet. But I'm not, like, mentioning your name on stream and, like, calling out a witch hunt. Like, have some... You're not calling out a witch hunt, but you're just saying, chat, if there was ever a time you're going to defend me, now's the time. By the way, I'm not going to tell you to harass one or harass them, but I'm not going to tell you to not harass them. Also, I'm going to read out their tweet word for word so you can just Google search it. And I'm also going to describe their profile picture so you can figure out who it actually is. But they're not starting a witch hunt. They're just pissing off their far right base in order to get them mad, get them angry about stuff. Yeah, this community or that community has is full of problems. I don't know. Do something with your life. I get that you're a YouTuber as well, but like, I'm not gonna give you a free plug. Hi, Captain Nicole, how are you doing? Oh, They're not trying to get a plug out of you. They're trying to call out what is perceived pedophilia, or at least pedophilic coded imagery. <laughs> Is anti-illegal in Australia? I think so. Is anti-illegal. Free views. It's a little cringe, yeah. But it's okay. We'll just shit on them later. I'm just gonna rant about it later over and over again. Not not you. But you're not starting a witch hunt. You're just gonna keep ranting about it. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Furry lolly. I love my furry lollies. Fucking. Okay. It's just making... Ah, <sighs> those are called cubs, you freak. Like making an itch out of nothing if you don't watch i know right you got his higher though poggers thank you thank you thank you give me a free plug sure the bad you kill player apparently you're allowed to harass me so that's lovely yeah i told you not to harass you Fucking, i didn't say to harass you Fucking, you're still watching my stream again you didn't directly say to harass somebody you just riled up your base in order to protect their fucking self-admitted parasocial attachment but you didn't tell them to harass team again but to harass you with what proof bitch again FB the last nine minutes you were gonna lurk on twitch you know i collected thank you for the followers thank you again look at this i don't know with what proof 
With what proof? What are you gonna do? Clip my stream, dumbass? Okay, cry more. Okay, cry more about it. Anyways. Is she actually underage? I didn't literally say to harass you, so it's fine. Like, I really want to believe she's over the age of 18, but she's thinking like a fucking child. It's back to more cunny, my bad. Okay, and it seems like this person can't get a life. What the fuck? I get that I'm cute, but like, seriously? Fucking. Oh, good. So that's how they sound like they act like that regularly. And I can understand why, um, why they got called out. Yeah, in regards to Cunny being a dog whistle, I mean, it's not really pushing a political agenda, so to speak. It's just kind of signaling to other people, hey, I'm into this thing. Fifty percent of the words they used is the C word or fucking. Yeah. Not not a very good time. And like the prominence of these kinds of people, because like I'm gonna be real, there are lolly vtubers that well build up a far-right audience they're a dime a dozen in the vtuber scene i really don't like it i can't really do anything about it i i i can screech on youtube which i just did for the last half hour that's pretty much it i have no actual power to remove their platform i don't even care about particularly reporting them constantly because I don't think it'll actually do anything. They will just be back. I think it would be more effective to socially disincentivize people from actually going on with that. But holy shit, there are so many, so many of those types of VTubers in the scene that it's just downright impossible. Impossible to get rid of them all, especially when, like, Rev says Desu is out there defending people like this. I don't even know if Rev has defended this person, but I would, I would not be surprised if he does put out a video in her defense. Yeah, like, it's so fucking frustrating that it, it yeah, it literally feels hopeless that you can't really do anything about it. And then um, a lot of the people are just kind of, I'm neutral towards Lollicon content. It's like, okay, I can't force you to care about anything, but it really seems like Lollicons and the far right go hand in hand. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't. Let me know in the comments why you think I'm wrong. Check out the community on Discord, and remember, if you can't be the sharpest tool in the shed, you can always be the hoe. Just want to take a quick second and thank my beeps who have joined the channel, so thank you to Joestar and Maxi Kitty.